All right, this is my first tutorial. The goal for this one is just to make a simple ocean surface, so let's get started. Um, later the ocean will be hopefully combined with flip fluids in a way that um, makes it so makes it very difficult to see where one ends and the other begins. All right, so I have a plane introduced to the scene and I'm going to go ahead and use the ocean modifier. Um, I'm going to increase the spatial size to 100 and um, I think depth I'm going to make it I, what I want is a is fairly calm water for for something to move through it could be a boat or um, you know fish jumping the, over the surface dolphins jumping over the surface all right um, <laughs> decrease my choppiness to 0.5 I'm going to uh, use a higher resolution that I can see and um, uh, let's see here scale of 1.5 just so we can see what's going on that looks pretty nice if I hit play right now nothing happens what we want to do is actually introduce um, a keyframe into this time value and I'm gonna set time to 0 and hit I to insert keyframe and then I'll set the frame to 250 and um, whoops and then uh, 10.4 here it the easiest thing would be just to go 25 frames a second but I'm so used to 24 frames a second um, that I have these weird numbers coming up so anyway 10.4 is what I calculated the time to be if we go through 250 frames okay 10.4 seconds now look if we run this we can actually see it the uh, the ocean surface moving the problem is that at the very beginning it's almost perfectly still so let's do something to fix that I'm gonna go to the graph editor get rid of this easy in and easy out um, nice beautiful curve by clicking on vec uh, V and then selecting vector and then go back to my timeline again now if we hit play boom that ocean surface moves the same throughout no slow no fast it's always the same all right so um, I'm gonna click here on generate normals and generate foam those normals are gonna be very subtle but they will make the ocean scale um, to look more realistic I think you, you have to add it uh, you have to be very very careful with those and generating foam foams the same you have to be sort of careful not add too much um, now I'm just gonna go through my settings and check them spatial size of 100 we will kinda of come back and explain why later alignment I don't want any alignment okay um, oh the cache path it says let's see here what does this say I think it's cache ocean yeah cache underscore ocean what I'm gonna do is go ahead and save this file um, as just call it ocean tut and I have it um, I have a folder uh, called tutorial ocean so save it right into that and then here um, I'm going to say cache whoops, underscore ocean and then what I did was uh, two forward slashes at the beginning one backward slash at the end and that's where it will be saved so now I'm going to set resolution to 30 let's have a look and see what that looks like sort of okay I kind of like it all right so I'm going to say bake ocean it will save it into the correct folder hopefully and um, it will also be kind of slow so we'll pause the recording and come back All right, so we're back. 
um, we have baked the ocean and really we could stop and we could go to the next phase uh, right now but what I'd like to do is just sort of put a material on here and see what it looks like so um, go ahead over to materials and just say ocean although this is different from the where we will end up slightly so you know this is quite different this thing will evolve all right so I'm going to put in a principled shader here um, and then turn the color just all the way down and make it as shiny as I possibly can so turn the roughness to zero and let's see what it looks like Yeah, that looks pretty nice. It's nice kind of ripply water. Um, I'd rather see it sort of under a blue sky. So let's, <clears throat> let's introduce a Greg Zoll product here. Yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, okay. So, hmm. Also, I'd like it to be a little bit brighter. There we go. Just so that I can see what's going on. Um, yeah, there's... Okay, so what we have here is, is just sort of shiny and blue sky, so we have sort of a blue ocean look to it. Um... What I would like to do is put the foam in there, so let's just to see what it looks like. Let's do that right now. Um, that's another principal shader and a mix shader. And yeah, this principal shader, let's, uh, yeah, let's just leave it where, I, where it's at. And then I'm going to add a image sequence texture. And here's my ocean data folder that we set up before, right in the same folder that I saved my tutorial in. And just click on foam, and it will inc it will import all 250 frames, which is really cool. One thing, I, ooh, well there it is, but it's stuck. Okay. Um, let's see what happens. Oops, when I plug this in. Yeah, there it is. So, the ocean is, has already got a, um, it's already been mapped, UV mapped, which is really cool. Because later we're going to run into problems when we don't have something that's that way. Well, actually, we won't. We'll, we'll get around that. But it's also way too much foam. So let's get rid of some of that. And what I would like to do is, ah, come on, there we go. Color ramp. And I like the B spline. And you just bring it up. And that way you have some stuff, some that's not quite faded away. Just bring it way up. For now, that should do it. Okay, now. Um, I'm try, always trying to simplify things, and I just figured out a simpler way to do this next step. We're going to bring in that, those normal maps. So let's bring in, okay, so let's bring in the texture, image sequence, and there they are, normal. Import image sequence. And it'll take a bit. Okay. Cool. All right. So this is a normal map, but it's not a normal normal map. Look at this. It's all yellow and green. And when I try to use the normals, it really sets things off. So we're going to get around that. Um... 
Yeah, let's let's look at that again. So what I'd like to do is get rid of the color from that. So let's go, let's convert RGB to BW. And I'm not seeing much. I'm not seeing anything hardly. Um, I'd like to invert that color and see what happens. Yeah, I mean there's something there. We could darken it, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. And now, let's see here. What was it? Oh, um, bump. Yeah, look at that. Kind of a normal, normal looking map. Kind of an ordinary normal map. So let's do this and this and this and there we go we got some extra bump it's it's a little bit much I guess I don't know let's move that down halfway maybe even point two there we go alright so I just wanted to see my ocean surface I wanted to um, see what the normal map, see if I can make that work, and also uh, put in the foam. And that should do it for this tutorial. Thank you very much. That was my first tutorial, and I certainly hope that you'll go on to the next step, um, which is where I put this onto a giant plane and make the ocean so almost never-ending. We're going to extend it right out to the horizon. Thank you very much.